CD Projekt Red has just announced a massive new update for Cyberpunk 2077. Let's talk about it. As part of CD Projekt's major news briefing about Cyberpunk 2077 today, the company announced and launched a free trial for the action role-playing game to give players a taste of what's new in the massive 1.5 update. The free trial is available across PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S right now. It lets you play for up to 5 hours and the trial itself is available for 30 days. CD Projekt also confirmed that all progress from the trial will carry forward should you decide to pick up the game. During a live stream, a developer joked that some people will find a way to beat Cyberpunk 2077 within the 5 hour limit, but that's not representative of how most will play. Cyberpunk 2077 is marked down to $30 right now on Xbox and $25 on PlayStation, so anyone keen to pick up the game can do so at a nicely discounted rate. The free trial will let players check out what's in the 1.5 update and there is a lot. CD Projekt said, with the update, Cyberpunk 2077 takes advantage of the additional power of the newest generation of console hardware, allowing for ray tracing features in 4K with dynamic scaling, faster loading times, and a variety of other visual and technical improvements. During the live stream, developers discussed how a ton of stuff is being changed in the 1.5 update, including reworked talent trees. If you already played, you can reset perk points and redistribute them. Perks that were not very useful have been removed, including one that prevents players from being detected underwater. New perks have been added too, including one called Looking Sharp that enhances your skills with throwing knives. Some of the new perks have been purposely designed to give players the ability to play more aggressively and fast-paced without necessarily needing to use cover, although some melee builds could already do this. In general, CD Projekt says the new perks should help players find new playstyles. Additionally, the AI characters are better and smarter, while the driving model has been changed as well to make cars feel heavier. Crowd AI has changed too, as some NPCs will have weapons and might attack you in certain situations. Additionally, the 1.5 patch for Cyberpunk 2077 will let players change their appearance mid-game. Players can visit the mirror in their apartment to change up their look. There are the same character creator options from the start, along with new options for makeup. The patch also adds a new website to your apartment's computer called Easy Estates, which allows players to change up the look of their apartment, choosing from six different options. There are also four new, brand new apartments to choose from spread throughout Night City. The devs also spoke about how the patch includes some new mysteries for players to uncover. Fans will be able to discover these secrets on their own as the studio did not give any indication as to what the secrets might be or where to find them. Also included in the patch is a guitar in your apartment that you can play 80s themed songs on. The sequences are animated so that your fingers and hands are moving as they would if you're playing a real guitar. What's more is that 1.5 on PC adds the ability to simply walk through Night City. Previously, you were either moving at one speed or sprinting. The patch is also going to be expanding on Cyberpunk's romance options, with players now able to more regularly send messages to potential romantic partners. Successfully romancing someone will let you stay in their apartment as a safe house too. And if you want to see the full list of patch notes, then you already know, you gotta go check out GameSpot.com. Now if you're trying to upgrade and transfer your save file to the PS5, then there might be a couple more steps that you'll need to do. Assuming you already own a digital copy of Cyberpunk 2077 on PS4, you'll start by navigating to the game on your PS5. From there, select the three dots or click on the free PS5 upgrade box on the right side. You'll then be taken to the PlayStation Store to purchase the PS5 version, though you won't be charged for it. With the purchase complete, you can specifically choose to download the PS5 version. In terms of transferring your save, the process varies depending on whether you've previously played the PS4 version on your PS5. If you are playing on a PS4, it seems you'll need to update that version of the game, which then allows you to upload a save file to the cloud that can be imported on PS5. This doesn't require PlayStation Plus as typical cloud save functionality does, but only a single save can be moved in this way. If you have different files at different points in the game, you won't be able to move them all in one go. Fortunately, if you've played the backwards compatible PS4 version on PS5 previously, you can just download the new PS5 version and your saves will all be present automatically without doing anything. The full PS5 version weighs in at 56 gigs. 
how do you think these new changes are going to impact the game? And does it make you want to hop back in and play? Let me know in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.